how's it going? Um, I actually do have a typewriter here. I'll probably be featuring it in some videos. It's a nice little piece of history. Uh, some of you experts could really tell me what it is or where it, what era it's from. I think it's from the 30s or 40s. It's at Underwood. Pretty solid. I did use it for a bit. Um, you'll see that come up here and there. It's got that nice sound to it. And today is one of my, I'd say my more favorite topics. But I mean, who am I kidding? They're all my favorite. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that either. Uh, it's how do I stay motivated while writing? How do you stay motivated while writing? And if you have ways that you already do, that you practice and it, it works for you, uh, comment below. Like, let me know. I'm super curious. And I think it would help a lot of other people too to hear from such a varied perspective. You know, you never know how many people you really reach out here. So wherever you're from and if you have ways to motivate yourself, go ahead and let me know. And if you're just looking for a way to get started on a book, by the way, check this out at writingalong.com. It's completely free. I'm going to be promoting this in my videos because I just really want to get it out there. Again, just uh, register and it'll shoot you a personal copy and you can go ahead and get started. Definitely worth your time. And as far as staying motivated, that's pretty, it goes like pretty deep because so many people have superficially different reasons why they're writing. And if you've watched the first two videos, they really kind of portray this idea that you're not writing for a specific purpose per se. It's not this, um, you know, thesis you wrote that will dictate every single word that uh, proceeds from your brain from there on. It's more or less like a, the way you think about writing, the way you think about it is going to determine why you do and why you keep doing it. Why you keep doing it is so, so important. So let's go ahead and just jump right in there. Uh, I personally keep motivated by momentum. That's not profound and it, it's not supposed to be. It, it's not supposed to be this uh, complex thing either. Like all of this stuff. It has a deeper layer, but at, at its core, it's something you can just do today and understand right now. <laughs> no crazy uh, philosophical theories to it. When you finish a page, and I, I did kind of start on this in the other uh, video, it's, it's motivating because you really finish something. And it keeps you wanting to come back and finish something again. And it's, you can't deny it. There's a sense of accomplishment here and there in your life. And it just kind of inspires this feeling in you that you forget exists sometimes. Like, oh yeah, there's uh, something that can really keep my interest and keep my enthusiasm going and keep my inspiration going. And beyond and pushing past uncertainty, you don't really, like those words become irrelevant because you're not really fearing them. You're just, you're feeling the momentum. You started and you're going to keep going. And the same thing is with writing. It, like it, it really does apply here just as much. And I personally have experienced it multiple, okay, like uh, spanning years. It's not something that has died out. It's not something that's unreliable. Um, Something that's unreliable is my hair staying in place in my videos. You probably noticed that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm planning to cut it a bit. So if you don't mind, if you can keep pushing through uh, or you don't mind, I don't know. Uh, it's just I don't mind being self-aware about that. And again, with motivation, it's, it's going to really come down to you and what you're thinking, how you're thinking about it. Are, what are you what are your expectations too? Are you coming to write a chapter or two and you know you're expecting uh, literary agents to just be knocking on your doors and you know, harassing you in the streets just asking to publish you please <laughs> you know you might really accidentally I don't think anybody's consciously thinking that but you might accidentally be thinking that and subconsciously it's creating an environment of disappointment and just kind of fostering this uh, realm that you're existing in where you write and it's hard to, it's hard to keep at it. It's hard to stay motivated. Or maybe you expect um, you write a chapter or two and you share it with someone and you know what? They didn't treat it like it was th the next Bible, you know, like they didn't, they weren't blown away by it. And 
that might be discouraging to you. You might have had this expectation that people would react and respond to you in a very particular way. And here's the thing. People, if you do show them your work while you're writing, they might be reacting. This is crazy. They might be reacting the way you wanted them to or hope they would, but it's in their mind. They can't express it. You're the one expressing. You're the one who's the writer. You're the one who can, who has this ability to uh, communicate your thoughts into words like that. So, you know, you, you put it, – it's basic human psychology. You kind of expect of others what you can do yourself. And, you know, we all have certain abilities. And if you're a writer, that's – you know, you know yours. And just be careful what kind of expectations you're putting on others in the world around you. And – because those things are going to demotivate you if you set them too high. If you set them to not just too high, but to just unrealistic and ideas that don't really parallel to reality as it is in front of you. There are these invisible scripts. And I, I've heard that term used in other contexts. Context is completely different from writing. Uh, I'm talking like business and stuff. It's the, it applies here too because it, it comes from your brain. It comes from where you're getting your life source from, your best ideas, your your uh, conscientiousness, not consciousness. I mean conscientiousness. Like, how are you? How are you thinking of others when you're doing this? Are you seeing them as transactional? Are your readers this, you know, transactional thing where uh, you put something down and they're just gonna react this way, and you know, the, the world is just gonna uh, contort and conform to the way I need it to, to my own writing, or I'm just going to be this breakthrough, you know, like maybe you will be, maybe you will, you might actually, but don't, don't worry about that when you're writing or don't use that as a source of motivation because you're playing for the long haul here. It, it's, and there's no destination that you have to, you know, work 50 years for, and then it, it shows itself to you other than, you know, some kind of financial security with your writing. But there's something very present, something very now. I, if you're like me, you like to see things right away. I've applied for things and I get pretty enthusiastic about this stuff. You can probably see it in my facial expressions, but I, I'm legitimately excited about it because I, I just want to share it. I, I know there are other people out there who experience the same things. Uh, you know, I've applied for certain things and I will respond to you in one year, a year. I don't have a year. I do have a year unless something, you know, unprecedented happens, but I pretty much do have a year, but I, I just don't want to wait. I don't, I don't feel like waiting. I, I want now. I want something that's, I can see that I can touch that I can feel and just grab onto. Uh, when I write, I want to feel already the book in my hands, even though I don't, I haven't written enough for a book to exist. And, you know, there's this temptation sometimes to just stop, to just give up somewhere along the way because you didn't get that fulfillment that you were looking for. And if you're looking for something, if you're looking for some kind of incentive while you're writing, it, it does exist. And that should come as a great, as a great benefit to you, as a great relief to you. There is something waiting for you every day, every minute after you finish writing. And, you know, I do separate it in days because unless you're just this extreme, like, night owl, you don't, not even just beyond the nine to five, like, you just exist on a different time plane. You have your own watch with your own division of time. No, you most likely you're going by days, I, I would hope. And you know that you want something daily. You want to wake up and see something, feel something. And with writing, this is what it is. It's a deep fulfillment. And this is going to be a recurring theme because it happens in a lot of areas, but especially with staying motivated. When you finish a page, you're fulfilled. When you finish a sentence, it's this, treat it like, and uh, this is repeated a little bit from the last episode, but it's it's in a new context, and that's the significance of it. You're going to feel accomplished if you acknowledge that it's an accomplishment to finish one chapter. If you treat it that way, 
And if you think uh, comparatively, I, I kind of do sometimes. Most people in the world, guess what they did today? Uh, they, they showed up to their, their jobs if they had, if they were able to, if they were, um, you know, not sick, if they were completely able to get there, or they showed up to their, their classes, if they're attending a university or a school of some kind. Um, they drove somewhere, they ran some errands, and good for them. But maybe none of it really took anything critical. None of it really took something something innovative, something different from them. It's just kind of repeating the same cycle and process. And it's just kind of going through the emotions of it. And that's what most people did today. That's okay. I mean, some days are just like that. But if you, on that same day, you're thinking of this comparative uh, analysis, you can call it an analysis. That's pretty complicated uh, way of, or uh, overly... Uh, analytical way of looking at it you did something different very significantly different from what most people did today so write your write your chapter today write your page today or your uh, word count we're gonna go on to a lot more of what which, which one you want to pick for yourself in future episodes but whatever you know is working for you right now some kind of uh, disciplined path that you've set for yourself. And when you do it, just think to yourself, today even, get something done today and tell yourself, what did most people do today? Not the top uh, of 1%, you know, or 0.001%, uh, just people who crush it on productivity in their lives, you know, people you see on uh, social media channels and on television, you know, they're just this, they're not just the top 20%, okay? They're the top 0.0001%. And that's just superficially. That's just what they're portraying. Uh, don't let that demotivate you. Most people today did nothing. They got up out of bed and they're just going to go sleep and do repeat the same thing over. If you finish the job, if you're doing what I'm telling you right now, you're going to be ahead of the game a lot more. And that should motivate you. That should kind of remind you like, oh, I did something a little, a little different, you know, and I was able to do that. And it doesn't have, you didn't write a novel in one day. You didn't write your book in 12 hours or, you know, under that, but you didn't need to. You just needed to write a f just a little bit, just a few hundred words. A hundred words is not a lot. Uh, some people write, you know, angry YouTube comments. I've seen them hit like 800 words. I stopped reading them. I haven't really read uh, YouTube comments in probably going on three years, four years now. Not for any reason. I just haven't really used YouTube. And I'm really kind of making a comeback with this. I'll read your comments, as I always say. And I'm going to uh, pivot, segue into that. Uh, comment below, like I said, what do you use to motivate yourself to write uh, daily at, at a yearly scale, just in your life? How do, you, how do you stay motivated? You're going to help someone if you, if you comment below. And also, check out, like I said, how to write a book in 30 days at writingalong.com. It's free. Nothing to really sell you here. It's just, I want you to write your book. And you can do it. Just trust me on it. You can do it. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, next episode. Uh, we're not doing the live stream thing. Just not yet, okay? Just, just not yet. Videos are just, just like this are working out a little better, but it's still going to be daily for this t these 10 days. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.